Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah and today I am bringing you a booty band workout. So in this workout, all you will need is a booty band and a mat or a soft surface to kneel on or lay on. All of these are scoliosis safe. These exercises help tone and lift your booty without having to use your back and perform squats or heavy deadlifts or things like that. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, but I'm gonna show you each exercise, do a little voiceover so you know exactly how to do the workout and some tips and tricks to maximize the exercise um, and to prevent back injury. So we'll get right to the workout, um, but before we do, make sure to like it, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Let's get to the workout. This exercise is a glute bridge. With this one, you're gonna lie face up on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep your arms at your sides with your palms down. Lift your hips off the ground until your knees, hips, and shoulders form a straight line. Squeeze those glute muscles hard and keep your abs drawn in so you don't overextend your back during the exercise. Hold your bridge position for a couple of seconds before easing back down. This exercise is great for rounding that booty and overall core and hip stability. This exercise is a donkey kick. With this one, you're gonna get on all fours with your hands stacked directly under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. With this one, you wanna make sure your back is flat and you wanna tuck your chin slightly with this. Without rounding your spine, you're gonna kick your le leg up towards the ceiling and keep your lower abs engaged the whole time to help strengthen your core. You're gonna repeat all on one side and then switch to the other one. With this one, this is targeting your gluteus maximus muscle, which is your largest butt muscle, and will really help round that booty. This exercise is a fire hydrant, and with this one, you are gonna be on all fours, and you are going to be kicking your leg out to the side, like in this video. With this one, you wanna make sure that your hands are stacked directly under your shoulders, and then your knees are up below your pelvis. And also with this one, keep your back flat, and you wanna keep your core tight. This one is a great exercise to really focus on rounding your glutes, help with control, but it also is really good in strengthening your core and decreasing back pain. This is a clamshell exercise. With this one, you're gonna lie on your side with your knees slightly bent and with one leg on top of the other. You wanna keep your feet together and lift your top knee until it's parallel with your hip. Then you're gonna lower back down and repeat again. This one really works on toning and strengthening your gluteus medius muscle, which is your hip side butt muscle, and it will help give that round look and also help with control and overall strength in your hips. This exercise is a single leg glute bridge. So with this one, you're gonna lie on your back with your hands up by your sides and your knees bent with feet flat on the floor. So with this one, you're gonna lift one foot, extending the leg fully so it's roughly 45 degrees to the floor. This is your starting position. Raise your hips, tightening your abdominals and butt muscles to support the lift 
and you want to squeeze your cord the whole time. You're going to hold this position for a couple seconds and then lower slowly to the ground. This one's going to really target your gluteus maximus muscle, but it's unilateral, so it's really good at individually strengthening those muscles for maximum benefit. This exercise is hip extension. With this one, you're gonna be on all fours and it's very similar to the donkey kicks, but with this one, you're gonna kick your leg up and not have your knee as bent. This one's really gonna target your glutes as well as your hamstring muscles, which really help build those muscles to give you the round booty look and also just give you more control on your hips and overall lower body. With this one, just make sure to keep your spine in a neutral position. Do not arch it too much so you prevent strain from it and do all on one side and then repeat on the other. This exercise is standing hip abduction. So with this one, you're gonna be in a slightly squatted position and you're gonna press out into the band and then back in. This one is targeting those hip abductor muscles like some of the other exercises that really help round that booty, that gluteus medius muscle, as well as just help with overall strengthening and control of your hips. With this, just make sure that your back is in a neutral position and that you do these slow and controlled. Okay guys, that is the workout. I hope you felt the burn in your booty like I do when I do this workout. And if you have any questions and comments, leave them down below and I'll get back with you. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time.